Hello everyone, it's me A Samarif welcoming you to my new Illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you this type of creative type photography logo making and how to do that let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much hit the like button and share with your friends let's get started going to the file and taking new artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name photo logo and hit the create button you'll get an artboard over here and after that i'll go to the ellipse tool taking ellipse for the circle and drawing circle like this turn off the fill color give the stroke thickness like uh, two or three four is good nice and after that select over here align to artboard and make it in the middle and make sure that go to the view options and snap to pixel is off and another thing is that i'm working area is painting my working area you can make it painting from here your work area okay after that i'll write down over here something that is the cursive letter and demo text like that and suppose the name of the logo that is rb for the ravi bushan like that and making it bigger like this this one is normal font but i have special font i'll provide you that font downloading in my video description so here is that font okay and the glyphics options in this font we have so i'll select the r options and select over here you'll get the glyphics portion over here so if you especially suppose or um, select that font or letter it will be like that so you can make more creative if you want so you can make it like this or i'm making this one only this portion okay after that right press and create outline and we have some work with that just because of this b line over here and i'm taking the r in a lower portion it seems like that it's in a one line drawing okay after that i'll keep it in the middle manually if you make automatically middle it couldn't be so i'll make it manually in a middle okay fine and after that i'll write down something and photography like that and before that i have to make copy this circle i'm making the circle thickness that means stroke 6 pt and stroke alignment in the center okay fine and ctrl c and ctrl f mark the shortcut keys what i have pressed over here okay now i'll write down the photography that name here is the text tool and type in a path tool this portion you have to select and select once and then you have to change the font i'll take the next the font don't worry i'll provide you the font downloading in my video description so this one is help you out to make your photography logo so typing okay after that here uh, if you select over here you'll get another line in upper side if you take your mouse cursor over there you'll get another arrow key over there and just making it into drag it into the downside it will be like that so after that you have to make it uh, alignment and other stuffs go to the character options here and make the all caps and make the font size smaller i'll make the font size 7 to 48 that's good and here i'll increase the space between two letters actually i'll make it like this and i'll decrease the font size 36 is good for me and i'll give over here that means from this downside this point to this point you are getting like that now i'll take this circle over here you will select these two circles key subject is the photography that write up and make it in the middle now i'll work with that uh, that means i'll cut out from here and uh, here so press the shift and hold it and make it rotation select a from the keyboard direct selection tool and select once and delete over there that portion is deleted you can keep that portion for your convenience or if you want you can cut over here this portion uh, if it's a totally up to you and if you want to make the gap between two letters more you can make it more so i'll if i increase that things it will be like a full fill or fill up that things and right press and create outline it's no longer a font this one is a shape 
and this uh, one the stroke as well if you need to change the stroke you have to increase like that stroke thickness but go to the object and expand this one if you expand this one this one is shape now now i'll select these two things making it group and now our logo is ready and we'll uh, do some uh, couple of options how to do that go to the artboard and making another artboard like this okay fine and now i'll take the background which is the black color background so i'm uh, making two options actually for the reverse logo and the others uh, the main logo so i'm making it white and now another uh, options going to the artboard and making it okay fine and i'll make the background that is the ash color and this logo i'll make the after selecting this logo double click over here and increase the lights like this okay we're getting three options actually and i'm saving this logo and giving the photo logo for your convenient and i'll provide you uh, that font download link in my description as well so after that how to use that you have to use that things uh, for your photography purpose so two way you can make it in a png mode export this one in a png mode and another way is you can keep it in illustrator but you can use it in your photograph that means in a photoshop so now we are in a photoshop and uh, suppose this one is your photography you want to place your logo in this photo how to do that and you can uh, just uh, take this white one press controller command c for the copy and go to the photoshop and controller command v for the paste and paste it out and you can just paste over here and now you can go to the opacity and just down the opacity this one is another technique or you can make it a brush palette so how to do that i'm just turning it off don't say i'm going to the file and taking new options and in this case i'll go to over here and background i'll uh, go to the advanced settings over here and hit the create button i'm taking any kind of um, square shape so 300 pixel and 300 pixel or uh, i'll keep it actually five 500 and 500 okay and hit the create button you're getting these type of things unlock this layer and turn off these things and now i just made a copy this one the black one Control c any of them you can take so i'm taking this black one for our convenience Control c and here Control v and select it here and now i'll make it a brush for your convenience so go to the edit options and define a brush preset and uh, suppose i want to make it uh, like photography logo the brush and now this one is brush so how to use that brush actually uh, suppose again i'm just going to this photo and go to the brush b from the keyboard and select this brush and making the size you can make it bigger by pressing third bracket opening and closing the opacity 100% and flow 100% and select once you're getting like that so taking another blank layer and select once and now you have that assumption to change this one press ctrl or command t you can make it smaller if you want to make this one uh, like a, a different color go to the solid color and then right press and make it create clipping mask now you can change the color like this 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 black white red whatever you want so like that and now you can save your photo into jpeg format or png format whatever it is i'm selecting over here so you're getting uh, the brush like uh, your logo uh, in a photoshop and you just made your logo in a illustrator if you need to uh, this one print it out or if you want to get in your t-shirt or whatever it is you can provide this logo that means the ai file to your printer or vendor for the printout so you're getting this type of support and this type of techniques from this video if you like this video please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification and if you are already subscribed my channel thank you so much please share with your friend and hit the like button until the next video i am a7 i'm signing out today stay at home stay safe bye bye